Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for attending the Ben C. Gerwick uh, Lecture Innovation Award. Uh, my name is Rick Elman, a principal with Musa Rutledge Consulting Engineers in New York and chair of the DFI Marine Foundations Committee. Uh, the purpose of the award, uh, you know, uh, Ben Gerwick was a, uh, an innovator and, and, and very uh, recognized member of the Marine Foundation world and the precast concrete world. And so um, in 2008, the committee established this Ben C. Gerwick Award for Innovation, and it was to recognize Ben's innovative spirit and recognize and encouraging innovation in the Marine Foundation industry. And, uh, you know, and, and so um, what the award is about, um, the Marine Foundations Committee, uh, we form a committee that will um, evaluate uh, uh, people who get nominated. Uh, what the criteria is about, you know, is the impact and value that the technology brings on the Marine Foundation industry the level of innovative nature and its relevance beyond marine foundation industry. So the award is sponsored by the DFI Educational Trust and uh, originated out of the uh, California Department of Civil Engineering at Berkeley, um, and, uh, but does you know, continue to support the uh, DFI Educational Trust. Um, the award has been given uh, since 2008 uh, this is just showing you the awardees going back in time. Um, and you can see the listing of the various people who've received it. And it's a notable group of uh, awardees um, going back all the way to the beginning. So those uh, are the type of, those are the awards that have been given over time since 2008. And uh, that's where we stand. So, um, so for 2021, the award this year, the DFI Marine Foundations Committee is pleased to award the Ben C. Gorick Award to Sapir Engineering, Underwater Anchoring LTD, and Technigwell for their technology remote underwater anchoring systems. Presenting their technology is Mr. Davide Sorrell of Sapir Engineering. So with that, I'm going to turn the presentation over to Davide. Here we go. Okay. Okay, I have the control. Yes, sir. Right. First of all, a little introduction to me. I am a civil engineer of uh, software engineering and um, hello to everyone. I'm very proud and happy to receive this award. Uh, UVA Underwater Anchor. Uh, began uh, his adventure in the uh, United States. Uh, back in uh, June 2010, uh, we present this uh, technology at Marine Foundation Speciality Seminar of uh, the DFI in uh, San Francisco. So uh, it is therefore a special occasion for us <clears throat> and for me to be in Dallas with you after 11 years. And I'm really sorry not to be physically for my lecture, but uh, the appointment uh, I hope is only postponed to next year. Many years ago, we believed uh, in a dream, and now it's coming true <laughs> because uh, I represent a company born for this uh, technique, and uh, I thank those uh, who have been part of it in the past. Uh, my colleague that now doesn't work in the company, and will now continue uh, to work in spreading this uh, technique. And who like Technoem, <clears throat> uh, present in Dallas with Mark, Mauro Kinkel, support us uh, in the maintenance and cost and updating and technical and DT research of uh, UVA machine. 
I would like to show in my lecture uh, where we started from and the type of uh, technique. The towel is a great, great benefit in the field of structural reinforcement of the keys because it creates few operational uh, disruption to the terminal. In this period, it's very important. The Tantra gas such works. In Ravenna, um, Italy, these works uh, were successfully carried out uh, on eight ki 80 kilometer, eight kilometer of keys. And after many years, so uh, 10, 11 years, have never been any post-work problems. So we can say that the techniques works well. <clears throat> Next autumn, uh, we will begin the test phase in uh, port of Rotterdam. As you know, uh, is the one of the most important ports uh, in Europe also in, uh, in the world. And uh, this will allows, allow us to make our technique no even in such important. So I begin the lecture. <clears throat> we create a company under Woden Arkham to manage uh, this kind of technique. Uh, we are a uh, um, free partner, software engineering that I represent. It's an engineering um, company of the SAP group. It is a, a terminal of Port of Ravenna. It's the most important terminal operators in Ravenna. Um, we are specialized in design and construction management of marine hydraulic works. And it's been the reference point uh, for the design of the docks uh, at the Port of Ravenna for years. After there is an historical construction company called CMC. Um, is an historical company of city of Ravenna, at, uh, and has represented for year, for years, sorry, uh, the reference point for the execution of maritime works at the port of Ravenna. After we have consulate servizi with the presence of Dr. Cesare Melegari, a partner, <coughs> is a, ge a geologist and the vice president of this company. He has over 30 years of experience in the manufacturing of drilling and grouting equipment and in developing new technologies. And for support, uh, with support of TechnWell, can provide external support to UVA for the maintenance and innovation, being the company that built the UVA machine and is a company that has been a leader in the design and construction of jet grouting, grouting and mixing machine for over 30 years. So it's a great company for us. <clears throat> this is the context. Uh, um, we started uh, thinking this, that uh, during the year, um, during um, many years, the capacity of the vessel uh, is uh, in constant uh, uh, great dimension. In fact, if you see the graph, uh, um, uh, in the future, um, we manage uh, Mm, vessel of great dimension. So uh, the depth uh, of the port, of our port, uh, um, has to grow constantly. We are here, we are in uh, Ravenna, in the north of Italy. So we have an Adriatic Sea port. You can see here the port, uh, it's a, a typical canal port because uh, it's inside the ground. Uh, on the left, on the right, there is the entrance of the port. So uh, this canal has many problems uh, in the depth. So every year we, we have dragged the canal to have constant depth. <clears throat> And this is the, uh, our first work. The first field test, um, as I told you, it was made uh, um, in 2010. And uh, uh, the state of work was that we have a project state depth of 10.50. There is the actual depth of the canal. Um, the variable uh, overload from one to four uh, tons to, for square meters, square meters, condition of the state of dock structure to be monitored. Dock structure built over 10 of years with various design technique then after I show you. And structure built before the new Italian system law. So 
the project <coughs> UVA and request of the port authority is to a new depth of 12, uh, 12.50, increase of the seismic, seismic capacity of the structure in according to the new Italian seismic law and avoid the interruption of port activities. This further row, it's very important for this project because you can see the red line of the keys. Uh, this um, was the, all the field that we make, uh, where we have to make uh, the, the works. And so uh, it was impossible to um, block all the ports, all the keys for this kind of um, reinforcement. These are also the geotechnical and geological characteristic. If you see um, the 8.50 of depth is uh, the depth of uh, the project for the uh, Tabek anchors. Um, we have to put uh, um, the, the, the anchors at this depth, so 8.50. And at this depth, um, uh, we are silty sand. This kind of stratigraphy is uh, uh, so um, the presence of sandy banks and silty clay layers. And uh, it is for the sedimentary nature of the Po Valley area. So it's typical sediment. Uh, the sand bank where uh, the underwater anchors were installed as a peak resistance between the 0 0.58 and 0 0.73 KCSE. With a friction angle value of uh, 30, 32, typical, and trust value at the constant zero, take from equal uh, point, uh, 0 0.9. So this, uh, this was the, um, the, the, the input of the project, directly with the analysis of the stratigraphy. And <clears throat> this is a typical uh, section of the key in uh, Ravenna. Uh, so uh, we are the concrete uh, wall with poles, and uh, after uh, the binary, if we have the the, the cranes, uh, and the project of a law was forty uh, k pascal. These are um, this is uh, our uh, project. So the anchor put the anchor, the tie back anchor at eight point. 50, and so uh, the depth to, um, to grow the depth of the canal from 1050 to 12. <clears throat> These are other kind of uh, keys because uh, we don't have only concrete wall. This is the first kind type after we have prefabricated reinforced concrete, and so it is another uh, type of keys, but the uh, type of anchor, uh, it's good also for it. And also there is an iron sheet peeling. So with the typical tyrant, you can see here, with uh, grades of inclination. So these are the <coughs> ambient and the, uh, um, I put uh, the, the result uh, of the um, bulk bending moment, uh, because if you see the anchor is uh, uh, at this depth, uh, minus 8.550, and this is without the moment, without the anchor, and this is the moment with the anchor. This is the machine um, that I spoke before. So it is uh, mm, the first <coughs> point is a crawler excavator of 60 ton that uh, have uh, a telescopic truss. Uh, and now there is a drilling mast. So the internal dragging system the mast allow the installation of the drilling unit. This is the heart of the unit because this may make, uh, makes uh, the type of anchor. So we, we can have uh, the maximum uh, depth of 13.5 meters. If you remember, uh, our anchor uh, was fixed at 8.50. So we have great depth.
this is the aerial view of the, the crawler in execution of the works in a key. So we have two kinds of uh, cabin because there is the cabin that uh, um, for positioning operation of hydraulic crawler above the drilling point. So the movement of the crawler is uh, inside the 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 <clears throat> the key the, the key if you can see. After we have the second cabin. So when uh, we uh, fixed the crawler. There is a second cabin with the control of the management of final position and the, the drilling operation. So this control truss and the mast. <clears throat> so uh, only one operator can manage uh, this crawler because when you move the crawler, you use the first cabin. When you move the mast, you can use the second cabin. Inside the cabin, so the operational cabin, we have the control cabin. So there is a monitor for viewing the image transmitted by the cameras that was in, is installed inside the mast. And, and so you can, uh, we can see uh, all the works. And after we have a touch screen panel when we can check all uh, the operation uh, that the machine gun. There is a software uh, that check uh, all uh, the sensor and uh, the, the, the camera. I can show the machine size, so the, the telescopic piston, the safety winch, because the safety is important. So the vertical movement of the mast, um, and the connected drilling unit is achieved with the three stage telescopic hydraulic pistons. Safety blocks are installed to permit uh, to fix uh, at definite uh, depth. And the safety winch maintains the internal shaft in case of failure of the hydraulic pistons. There is the position fifth wheel that it can move in two directions. And so, uh, um, to put uh, in very high position the mast. <clears throat> I show you some <clears throat> elements uh, of the mast. So we have the drilling mast, the rotation head. We have the loader to support the mini jet bar. So we can put uh, till 10 mini jet bars inside the mast to make a, a complete uh, tieback anchor. A bar centering device, we have a robotic uh, arm to support the diamond core drill. Uh, that is the, the first operation uh, for uh, to put the, um, the anchor, robotic arm for loading mini jet bars, and water tag video cameras for view the significant points of the main operation, the water tag box for uh, housing valves and electronics cards, and support for hydraulic uh, pipes. We can check all these uh, um, operation in the second cabin that I show you. This is some particular of uh, of the mast. Uh, so you can see the centering system, the clamping vices, the vice for the clamping mini jet bar, the robotic arms that is this, and the sensor for, position, for positioning is this and this. Is for sensor to put uh, very very close to the to the key. These are the automatic load, so you can see the bars <clears throat> and the two-speed motorized system. So, in summary, we have the perforation unit that can rotate of the plane particular at the limb mass, so 95 grades plus 10. After the perforation unit that uh, translate uh, along the x-axis orthogonal to the drilling mast for uh, a maximum of uh, 500 millimeters. The perforation unit that translate along the y-axis, uh, y -axis, orthogonal to the drilling mast, and uh, uh, 
this can do for maximum uh, um, 1000 millimeter and the inclination of the delete unit with a range of five grades. This is the plant machinery. So uh, mm, this is the our machine that go to the key to the sea. And uh, back to the machine, there is a, a, a plant with the silos for the storage of the pozzolanic cement, the power generator for powering the plant and the construction site, and a container with the mixer and control station. One operator manage uh, this plant and one operator manage the machine. So we have uh, six persons that uh, operate uh, to the UVA operations. And you can see that the space of this, uh, this plant, uh, it's not large. It's uh, a, a part of all the keys. So the rest of the keys, uh, you, you can see the terminal, our terminal container terminal. The, the rest of the keys can operate without problems. And this plant can move um, over the keys. So there is a simulation of our uh, operations. So you can see the mast that uh, touch with the sensor, the, the, the keys. And after this is the operation of insert of the jet route in advance. And this is the first part of the bar. So with the nozzle, uh, after I can show you the mini jet bar, the sleeve and the casing. These are the executive phases of the operation. So this is the pos positioning uh, of the machine. We have the, the, the automatic control ke, that I show you before in the control cabin. There is the first operation uh, to um, make uh, the first part of the bar, so the core drilling of the diaphragm and insertion of first road. After there is, uh, um, during uh, the, the, the advance of the bar, is an injection of uh, the, the water that create the space and after the ignition with a high pressure of the cement for uh, the, the, the manager of the anchor board. So this is the, the, the frontal view of uh, the UVA operation. And this is a perspective uh, simulation of the tieback anchor in the final position. So the advantage of the mini jet uh, technique is that uh, um, it's high load capacity with all type of terrain. Execution of a small hole with respect to micro piles or anchors for similar load capacity. Overall length shorter than micro piles or anchor of a similar load capacity. It's uh, very important, this point. Works in compression and also very well in tension, thanks to the continuous thread um, of the hollow steel bar and this high strength. strength. Reduction of the causes of overpressure in cohesive soil, often the use of standard and controlled injecting method can create an unwanted clackage and soil lifting problem. And in our um, port, uh, it's very, very important uh, this point. Reduction in amount of spoil material during the drilling action phase. The drill bar is left in the center of the column and become the steel reinforcement on this uh, column. High production, then similar technology. Um, we um, check uh, and to make uh, a, a complete uh, type of anchor um, um, is necessary 30 minutes for 30 meters of bar. These are the accessories, so the aloe bar, <coughs> the injection chisel, the tiny nut, and junction slave. These are the characteristics for the 31 end, but we can do also greater bar. 
So this is a photo of uh, the, the bar that uh, um, the operator uh, can uh, move inside the automatic uh, um, bar in the mask. So summary, uh, we, this uh, machine is uh, advancing jet grouting technology. The diameter of the hole made by uh, till uh, 90 millimeter, surface roll allos bar R51, rotation speed is uh, equal to 10 RPM and feed speed in one meter uh, two minutes. 2.5 millimeter gravity action nozzle. Inaction pressure is uh, 40,000 bar, uh, 40, sorry, 400 bar. Pozzolanic cement is, the, is the, the cement that we use. And the ratio of water cement is uh, point, uh, 0 0.75. <clears throat> That's all for us. This is the final photo of our machine. Okay, um, David, do I get control again? Right. Okay. All right. So, so David, th thank you. That was a very uh, interesting uh, uh, presentation. Uh, the technology is certainly timely. I mean, I don't know, you know, if you've made it to the U.S., but birth deepening is becoming, you know, uh, uh, an issue again, right? We went through it for the last round of vessel um, uh, draft increases, you know, it was kind of like 50 feet. And I know that they're pushing now to 55 feet in the, in the Port of New York and the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey is entertaining that. And this type of technology may be able to salvage all of the previously installed birth deepening by, you know, which in many times is cantilevered master pile walls or something of that nature. So I think it's very applicable and we'll see what the future brings. So um, at this time, um, I'm going to turn the presentation really back to Mike Wasaki, who is now going to present the award to Mauro Cincelli of Technywell, who thank you, Mauro, for um, agreeing to uh, travel to Houston and, and, and be present for our conference. So, Mike, um, please uh, present the award to Mauro, if you would. Please. I, uh, again, thanks, everybody, for for showing up, but thank you very much for sharing this great technology. And Mauro, thanks for being here thank in you. person. Congratulations. to get it. Oh, let's uh, picture. OK, wait a minute. It's a good looking box. Yeah. yeah it's it's right not right. empty. There is. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Right, thanks, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, uh, and, and that certainly lived up to its name to innovate it for that was just Great presentation and a lot of a lot of work behind this, and it sounds like Rick has more work for you in New York. Uh, you're gonna bring <laughs> well, that Houston across. Too. I think we're birth deepening in Houston is only a matter of time, so we'll see. Are there are there any uh, questions from the audience here present? Uh, we'd like to share. I don't know if there's any 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 chatters online chiming in, but. Um, I think it, it, it sounds like you've, you've covered everything <laughs> very well, but that was a really, really interesting project, really interesting uh, technology has been developed, and it, um, you might need to build a few more of those. You keep them busy. Is, is the project, how long does it keep going? Is it an ongoing thing that's, that you've got years of anchors to put in, or where is it? More than 10 years. Ten years. It's so far, are you now finished, or is it uh, still? Or it's no, no. going for the next ten years. Ah, uh, I hope. <laughs> well, we'll keep going. Rick's got another ten years worth of work for you in New York, so uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll keep going. All Mike, right. Well, Mike, we do have a question on the platform from Eric Boehner. And he is asking, are you using the rig for horizontal anchors only? Have you used it for ground improvement applications? I, uh, now we use the, the uh, tracer. Would you like to intervene? Uh, no, we, 
<clears throat> what we can do is uh, horizontal uh, plus uh, five or uh, five degree, but we can uh, modify the machine and uh, to to do uh, so fifteen or twenty degree. Uh, the problem is that uh, the movement of the machine is uh, locked uh, in uh, in a, a certain position, and uh, practically what we can do is uh, uh, to to use the the automatic system, uh, the, the till capacity of the machine to adjust this uh, uh, locked position. If the locked position is 15 degree or 20 degree, is 20 degree plus minus or plus five. But we can do also different uh, angle of, uh, of anchor. Yeah. So if I might put a little spin on that, in other words, the, you, you can't really do, or it's not designed for vertical anchors, right? So the ground- No, not, that, no, not the vertical, no, of course. Right, right, right. So I mean, you know, so it's interesting, could you, instead of putting in a bar though, could you just inject uh, cement and improve the strength of the soil rather than necessarily reinforcing a wall? No, the, the machine is uh, was created to solve the problem in, uh, for uh, for, uh, for the, the, the the quarry. <laughs> it's not for uh, for a, it's not a normal drilling machine, of course. Yeah. Okay. Understood. How how do you how do you lock off the bars? Are you following behind with divers, or is that part of uh, what? Sorry, I don't understand. What me? Lock off the bars, putting on the nuts, testing, or do you, do you tension the bars once the no no once the, it's set? Uh, when when we finish the job, practically uh, we we mount uh, a, a plate, a, a steel plate, depending from the dimension, depending from if uh, we are working on uh, a concrete uh, slurry wall or a sheet pile, uh, steel sheet pile, and. Uh, but there is a, a big size uh, plate, and uh, with, uh, we have a diver that that put in in the right position the the plate, and then uh, ever the, the diver they do the the uh, the tension, apply the tension, and fix everything. Is this yes. the only only job that we cannot do? Is that the the the, the to put in place the plate and the tension. Uh, this is uh, is made by a diver team. Interesting. So, anyone else? Okay, with that, thank you very much for, for presenting and congratulations on the Gerwick Award. Um. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, everybody, thank you for attending. And... Mm -hmm.